What's going on, everybody? I'm Cody. I'm Casey. Shane. And we are three quarters of To Begin Anew. Unfortunately, our guitar player Macon couldn't make this event. You guys are now watching Concert Junkies Rob and John, so do us a huge favor. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you get all the latest updates from these guys. <laughs> I uh I met these dudes in high school. Um, Cody and Casey were actually already in, in a band together, and uh, I think they known each other for like forever. So I have known Cody longer than I care to admit. <laughs> Since when I was what four and five, we uh we cut our teeth learning how to play music together. So Casey and I are our brothers. So we've been playing music together for pretty much all of our life. So and making I met whenever I joined to begin the name. Macon ended up coming into the picture, our lead guitar player. Uh, once we started up this project, uh, we reached out to some local musicians, and he, he was the guy to come and uh, fit in the best, so it's, it's been smooth sailing ever since. I'd have to say my biggest influence to start playing music was my dad. Um, being him being a guitar player and a sound man and being nice enough to buy me a drum set and put up with me making a lot of noise <laughs> um for me is is with Casey being my brother um obviously his his father was was a big influence for me too um with him being a guitar player that's that's what initially got my interest in music was uh seeing his guitars sitting around the house and uh Ended up falling in love with music, and you know, thanks to him, I, I'm where I'm at now. As, as far as my desire to to love music as much as I do, and kind of the same for me. Um, my grandfather was a musician, father was. Um, as far as what got me into playing music, I I, I really liked uh, the Backstreet Boys and Michael Jackson and some pop stuff. So yeah. As far as whenever we play out, uh, a have to have for me is a change of clothes, a backpack containing a change of clothes, and some general hygiene stuff because once you get on stage you start playing, the sweat gets very real and it can be extremely uncomfortable. So change of clothes and some general hygiene products are a must for me. I'm going to go with uh, socks and baby wipes. <laughs> you want to shower in a box. And yep. You never have enough pairs of socks with you. Liquids. I like to stay hydrated. It's also a very good thing, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> have to make sure you stay hydrated, folks. If I wasn't playing music, um, I don't really know what I'd be doing. Definitely probably be taking care of my kids, but... Um, possibly doing something artsy or helping other people uh yeah I, I don't know I wouldn't, yeah that's it um if I wasn't playing music I would probably try to get into it as a sound engineer at least be a part of it in some way yeah music promote. I mean we're we're all gonna probably generate towards some type of, of musical response uh as far as me um with me being the, the primary songwriter in, in the band, I like connecting with people. So if I, if I had to remove myself from music altogether, I would probably want to try to do something where I could genuinely try to help people better their life. Um, I also enjoy, again, reflecting on my songwriting. I take a lot of pride in my lyrics. Um, I, I usually, nine times out of ten, write in a poem fashion. Um, so if I wasn't involved in music, I, I, I think I'd probably be interested in trying to write poetry or something. I'd have to say I have two favorite venues, uh, one being uh, Reggie's in Wilmington, just because they always put on some of the best shows in the local area. The other, same reason, but would be the Milestone in Charlotte. I mean, just a historic place and 
always good shows there. I think as far as a uh, favorite venue, I'm, I'm going to dive in the past here. Um, K- Casey and I have been in some bands previous to this one, but there was this little hidden jewel in New Bern, North Carolina called the Salty Dog. And if, if anybody in Eastern North Carolina has been in the scene from, from back in the day, they know this place. It's it's a rough, dirty, in-your-face place. Um, some of the best musical experiences, good and bad, um, I've had at that place. Unfortunately, it's, it's not around anymore. Um, but growing up and, and really kind of getting my feet wet in, in music, that place there was a big, big deal for me. It, it meant a lot to me, even though it was, you know, your dive bar hole in the wall. It was still, it was, a, it was an amazing place. I always hold it close to my heart. Yeah, there's a, I wish I could remember the name of it. There's a sweet little, little area in Virginia that I played at. Um, it was awesome. I really, uh, enjoyed the Maywood. And, and Reggie's out of Wilmington, North Carolina. Um, as far as first CD for me, the first CD I ever bought, and I have no shame in admitting it at all, it was a Kid Rock CD. I believe the name of the CD was The History of Rock. I know it had Kid Rock with a Strat, and he had on like a wife beater. I mean, it was it was classic Kid Rock at his highest. Um, but it was actually, in, in retrospect, it was a really good CD because it had some of his rapping stuff and then it also had some of his more modern rock stuff. Um, so it, it was a diverse CD for me. So actually buying one CD, I was able to experience quite a bit of different music. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's kind of whack, but, I mean, it, it was what it is. It was awesome. Um, my first CD would be Linkin Park's Hybrid Theory, as far as owning a CD. Yeah. First CD I ever picked out and bought myself was Rob Zombie's Hellbilly Deluxe. Going back to the question, um, first concert I ever attended. Um, Growing up and and being familiar with the music scene, um, I I think all of us sitting here has has been to a lot of concerts, but um, to kind of dial it back to like one of the bigger like your big first concert um for me it was actually uh three days grace they played at the house of blues in myrtle beach and it was right whenever they released um one x so i I got like peak three days grace and i was already extremely interested in music and had been in some bands so that that was like my first real big experience so yeah that that was that was an awesome show uh first actual concert for me would have been probably seeing them um, with their old band. But big concert would, would have been Warp Tour. Warp Tour was amazing. Uh, the Kinnison I, I saw. Um, what year was Skindred, that? 2005. Skindred, oh, Skindred. Motion City Soundtrack. Um, Glory of This. They're no longer around. Um, Sadly. That's um, a, a, a little bit of My Chemical Romance. Um, that's a hell of a first concert. Yeah, well, you guys were the first concert. Well, I mean, like, your big <laughs> concert. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Warp Tour. 2005 Warp Tour. Yeah. My first big concert that I remember was Avenged Sevenfold and CKY on the City of Evil Tour. Nice. And I've been a CKY fan ever since, for sure. That's killer. Um, as far as which bands we'd like to play with and what venue, um, with COVID going on, venues closing down, um, I'd like for them to all be open back up again. Uh, sadly, you know, uh, I don't know about what the future holds, but I would really like to play with Wake and Terra, Death of Uriah, uh, Soul Season, um, Defile the Crown, Dying Oath. Uh, still searching. Uh, I, I, every band possible would be sweet. Yeah, and bigger bands would be the used uh, for first to last if they ever got back together. Um, that's yeah. Good. I 
just want to play shows again. I don't care who yeah. it's with. <laughs> I don't care where it is. We want to play shows. <laughs> I want to see a bunch of sweaty idiots in the crowd staring at us playing on stage. That works. We're yeah. idiots. Hey. <laughs> um, yeah, like we mentioned, um, talking about some of the, the local bands that, that we would love to share a stage with. One thing that means a lot to us, a, a bunch of the bands that play in the same area as we do, we're, we're all a big family. Um, so we try to look out for each other the, the best that we can. Um, and that's that's one good thing I like about our scene is that for the most part, most of the bands have each other's back. So it, it is a big network and it is a big family. Shun the Raven would be really cool to play with. Um, as far as some, some bigger bands, um, I would love, like, my, some of my biggest influences as far as writing style of music that I do, um, Ultra Bridge, Shinedown, um, Raw. Bands like that, I love that kind of just hard, in-your-face, aggressive hard rock. Um, so, yeah, that, that would be for me. All right, guys, so that's it. Again, we are To Begin A New, minus our lead guitarist, Macon. We want to thank you guys for tuning in and hanging out with us for a little while. You guys just watched another awesome episode of Concert Junkies, Rob and John. Thank make you. sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And make sure you hit that notification bell to keep in touch with all the other videos that's coming. And check out the other videos from Concert Junkies, Rob and John. We'll see you guys. Take care. Bye.
Do us a favor again and smack that bell. <laughs>